Yes, I am. All right, here we go now. In the light middleweight division, 156 pounds. Representing the United States Air Force from Washington, D.C. is Henry Bunch. And his opponent from the Soviet Union, Leonid Shaponikov. Leonid Shaponikov. Shaponikov, the taller of the two fighters in the all-red uniform, is, like most of these Russian boxers, very experienced. Most of them have had uh, upwards of 150, 200 fights. One of the light heavyweights has had 280 fights. So they've been in the ring a long time. On the average, they're giving away the Americans four years in age and over 100 fights in experience to their Soviet opponents. At this point in the competition, the Soviet Union is in the lead three points to two, winning three of the first five matches. Henry Bunch from the Air Force Academy. Again, we have an American fighter trying to stick that left hand in, and somewhat perplexed at this point, it would seem Henry Bunch is over the right-hand lead of the southpaw from the Soviet Union, Leonid Shaponikov. A lot of noise, but nothing happened as Shaponikov blocked the punch. Round one. Japonikov is a tough customer. Boy, he is looking for the knockout at all times. He stuns his opponent for just a moment. You'll see Leonid Japonikov drive inside and start firing those wild right hands, trying to take him out. Very pleased to have with us at ringside a distinguished AAU figure, Colonel Don Hull, who has seen every bout in the previous American-Soviet confrontations, both here and in Russia. Leonid Shaponikov trying to come inside to drill that right hand. Again, the Russian fighter, the aggressor. Bunch getting his right hand up to block the left-hand power punch of Leonid Shaponikov. This is round one. Not too many blows thrown in anger have landed here in the first round. Henry Bunch on the right from the United States Air Force. Now he appeared to be staggered somewhat by a right hand from Shaponikov, and here is Shaponikov moving in, bowling his way inside, and the bell rings. That is the end of round one. Henry play Leonid uh, that was nowhere uh, yeah, that was set to go to round two of the light middleweight division 156 pounds with the Soviet fighters at this point leading three matches to two through the first five the US is represented by an Air Force man Henry Bunch the Soviets by Leonid Shaponikov on the right Shaponikov the reigning light middleweight champion of the USSR a former European light middleweight champion an experienced fighter with over 150 fights. He comes in with that right-hand lead, and then he's looking to drill that straight left hand, a power punch. 
And he got a couple of punches in now as Bunch is starting to bleed slightly from the nose. And it would seem that Bunch is having trouble contending with the right hand, the southpaw. The right hand lead of Leonid Shaponikov. Shaponikov, wide eye, just waiting for that opening. Yelling out for Henry Bunch to fire the right hand to the body. A lot of noise, nothing happened. Shaponikov counter punching nicely as when Bunch does mount an attack. Shaponikov coming right down the middle of that good left hand. And here in the second round, he's pretty much taken control of the fight. In Las Vegas, a couple of weeks ago, if you were watching on Sports Spectacular, Leona Shaponikov defeated the United States champion Jerry Bennett. This is round two of the light middleweight division. And now a right hand from Japonikov was blocked and Henry Bunch came right back with one of his own. And now blood is flowing from the nose of both fighters. About 30 seconds to go in round two. These are all three rounds, scheduled three rounds, three minutes to a round. A minute of rest in between, basic Olympic boxing setup for all competition. And again, with that right hand lead, Shaponikov comes off it with a straight left hand. And there is the bell, and the end of round two. set to go and there's the bell the start of round three the final round of the light middleweight competition 156 pounds representing the USA is Henry Bunch in the United States Air Force out of Washington DC his Soviet opponent Leonid Shaponikov the reigning USSR champion and now Bunch a much more aggressive fighter than he was in the first two rounds and Bunch apparently took a straight right hand loosened a couple of his teeth as he's bleeding from the mouth and right now, Bunch goes to his corner. It looks like they're going to stop the fight. The fight has been stopped as a hard right hand to the mouth of Henry Bunch took its toll. He lost a couple of teeth. And Bunch decided uh, that would be it. He could have a jaw injury. Only Henry Bunch knows how badly he was hurt. Colonel Don Hall, what did you see there? Well, he lost that tooth in that right, last right hand, and uh, that rather discouraged him, and I think it also may have hurt his jaw. You notice how his jaw is hanging there a little bit. I believe that right hand, which is a hard right hand, may have injured his jaw as well as taken out a tooth. We're going to look at it on replay now. As we pointed out, Leonid Shaponikov of the Soviet Union is a left-handed fighter. He leads with a right hand. 
and he really banged in hard and apparently there could be a jaw injury to Henry Bunch as he is being uh, looked after by another spectacular young fighter from the U.S.